Welcome to a short tutorial on how to check system stability with Prime95 for either overclocked or undervolted systems. System stability is essential in being productive and in case of an overclocked or even undervolted CPU you want to know whether it is stable or not. For more than two decades now Prime95 has been the gold standard when it comes to answering that question. Is your system stable? You can download it on mirzen.org, I know that's French. It's also linked in the description of this video. Make sure you download it for the proper operating system. Most of you will be on Windows 64 bits. After downloading and unzipping the file you can simply launch the Prime95 application. You will be greeted with an option to join the GIMPS program which is trying to find insanely large prime numbers or simply using the program for stress testing. You will do the latter and click the right button that says just stress testing. You can also reach the dialog by selecting options and then select torture test. You will now see a dialog titled run a torture test. The number of torture test threads to run is the maximum number of threads you have at your disposal. Usually it's twice the amount of cores you have. In my case for an i7-4790K it's 4 cores with 8 corresponding threads. If you are unsure how many threads you have you can also look it up by using CPU-Z, hardware info or HW monitor or even other tools for system monitoring. When running Prime95 it is highly recommended to keep an eye on your temperatures, especially your CPU temperature and whether it gets too hot and results in thermal throttling. That could be an indicator for non-efficient CPU and or case cooling and it might be worth improving. Prime95 now has a variety of different tests, every test stressing the CPU more or less. You can see that there are smallest, small, medium and large FFT tests, as well as blend. FFT stands for fast Fourier transformations, that's also French, in case you didn't recognize. For stability testing you will barely find anyone who's not suggesting blend. Feel free to select custom and adjust the torture settings yourself. The memory usage in torture test settings speaks for itself. From the 32 gigs I have in my rig a good amount is used by Prime95. The min FFT and max FFT size can be now specified. What should be chosen though? A rule of thumb has always been that smaller FFT stress CPU and larger FFT stress memory and chipset. That is also indicated in the brackets behind small FFT and large FFT. Since blend does all of the above it is a good middle ground to use. One final question that is asked is for how long should Prime95 be run? A good rule of thumb is 8 to 12 hours for so called prime stable and 24 hours or more for rock stable. No errors and or warnings should be shown during that time. Please keep in mind that even though large FFT is stressing the RAM you should not rely on an error free test completely. For RAM testing we recommend memtest for which you will see a video linked in the info cards. When you are running Prime95 you should leave your system alone. Of course you can monitor it, especially the temperatures using the already mentioned hardware info or HW monitor. It might come to the point where your CPU is severely under stress and shows very high temperatures. In my case I even experienced thermal throttling. However not necessarily is that what you are going to experience. It really depends on the room temperature, the overall cooling of case and CPU and the part of the test Prime95 is running. Some parts of the tests are more intensive, some parts are less intensive. When your system is stable for a good 24 hours or even more you should be good to go. Finally please don't rely on everyday tasks to say your system is stable. Only those very intense stress tests or even so called torture tests from Prime95 will give you a decent estimation whether your system is stable or not. That's about what you need to know about Prime95 in a nutshell. Like this video if you liked it, leave a comment down below and subscribe to help the channel. We will see you in the next one.